Philly fat. All right, let's jump, switch gears a little bit. Let's talk about this guy, Johnny Mitch. He, he explained from his perspective how, how y'all became cool and linked up, basically through his older brother. His brother, my right hand yeah, man. Yeah, so I want you to explain that. That's my right hand man. Like, his brother was my right hand man. I always, at this brother died, I always told him, like, yo, I got you. And I stand by that. Like I, I, like I told you, I'm real heavy with, with my shit I stand on. You feel me, show? So, at first I just had him around me, like, let me show you some shit, you feel me? I'm around all these niggas, I'm around all these celebrities, I'm around all this shit, let me just show you some shit. So, he was around, but it was like, he wasn't making no bread, he's just around me, he's just around. You, right. you understand what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, fuck that, get a kid. This around the time, like, you know, after the headshot shit, bobbing him wasn't putting me on covers no more because of the little battle shit, so, I said, get a camera. I told him to get a, you, we around all the rappers, Every day, anyway. Yeah, you know I mean, get a camera, record all of this shit, everything. I don't give a fuck if it's a fight outside. I don't give a fuck what's going on. Record. Don't ever turn that camera off ever. I'll be damned if I ain't do it. Belly of the Beast one, Belly of the Beast two. Now you seeing money. Now we seeing shit. Now you feeling it. You ain't. I don't gotta feed him. I gave him. I don't gotta keep feeding him. I taught him how to fish. So now he can keep making money as long as he wants to. You feel me? Forever, forever. Down to now, he. He knew how to lead a DVD era alone and adjust to the internet era of the shit that's going on right now. You feel me? Like, down to now, he's still, he's, I made him a brand. You feel me? Like, I, I made him his own brand, so he always gonna have money. He always gonna have a brand. He always gonna have some shit that he can lead back to his kids and shit like that. So, like, that was my whole thing. Like, I always promised my man, like, anything, anything happened, I got little bro. I got all your brothers. I got all your sisters, your kids. I, I mean, I always told him that shit, so. And how old was he? He was a young boy when he passed. He was like 15 or something like that? Yeah, he was like 15. That's crazy, bro. How old was you at the time? You was the same age? I think I'm a year younger than bro. Oh, probably. Yeah, I'm a year younger than bro. I'm a year younger than bro. Damn, that's crazy. So you was a young boy. You was 14. Yeah. But, I mean, my angel a gangster. That shit be living through me, though. I mean, he a gangster, he was a gangster for, uh, for real, for real. Like. I like, on some real shit, like no cat. Like, he's a real live gangster. <laughs> like if you know you, if anybody from down the way they know they know he's a real live gangster shit. Like you know what I mean? Right, right, right. For real, for real. Well, we got K Gibbs out here. Yo, what's up, yeah, that's man? that. that one of new. <laughs> you see what I'm saying though? I just look who's right here though. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like it's just, one of the new they, up and coming yeah, youngest yeah. from the city. That they they. They just put in They work, fuck man. with me. They, they, I, I fuck with them. Yeah. I understand them, bro. I was dumb. I was good, bro. H, H probably the only nigga like from. Well, he like. I don't really know too many motherfuckers from like back back in the day, but I know H and like he probably like the only motherfucker that's like in contact with the youth. Like I don't really be too motherfuckers from back then in contact with the the young boys. Like you feel what I'm saying? H can get me to do anything. I pull up, but, but yeah. the, the thing I love him genuinely though. Yeah. I pull up. To the Ville, what gives it? Uh, Joey Jahad and niggas that came before me. I don't know him, but like H, like he right here. Like you feel hey, what I'm saying? He's still where? like he's still in the trenches. How y'all connect? Cause like you say, he from the Ville. He from Francisville. You from, from up here? That's like if you just go down straight down the street. That's yeah. that's that's his hood. Yeah. Right. I mean, H was all, always down Francisville though. Like yeah, Francisville that, was the place you like. You that's, feel what I'm they, saying? They got the best basketball games. They got the yeah. best. I got my girl from Francis Joe. You feel me? Like so they got the best girl. They got the best. They got had the best everything down there. You got. You had to go to the Ville. You from North? You had to go to the Ville. You yeah. had to go to the Francis Ville. You feel me? Like so. It's like that's he right there. He in the main. Yeah, you know I mean. Like I said, I pull up on these little niggas, Chef. I'm no. pulling up on them, bro. No, I'm pulling sick, up on sick. their block. Or if I'm riding past and I see one of them that outside that I know is worth a million dollars, they'll tell you I'm getting out the car like yo. You need to be in the house, uh, in the studio. I don't even, and I check his homies right in front of him. I don't even know why y'all got him out here like that. If y'all really cared for him, y'all wouldn't even have him out here like that. Y'all put him up in the studio. All, all the little money y'all had, put him the fuck up somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, 
I, I pull right out, I, I hops right out on them, and they, I relate to them. I sit out there, I talk to them like this. I have a conversation like I'm having with you with them. On they block, on they, in they hood, in they, around they niggas, and I, I ain't changing my, nothing. You feel me? Right, right, right. So effects, and that's a, like I said, it's a good, good that you doing that, because you one of them people that, I mean, they all know about, they all looked up to, so you more relatable than maybe some of the other guys. Not saying they not relatable, but you, they might be more relatable to you. No, hell yeah. They, they like I said, I ain't a, like a, I ain't gonna say I'm a young boy, but I ain't like a super old dude, you feel me? Like, I ain't like a super old dude, so I still know what's going on. I'm still in tune, I still, love hip-hop as a whole for the culture you feel me so i'm going watch the shit i want to see who the new young niggas is i want to see who the new talent is i want to if i can help them in any way i want to help them get to the next level you feel me because i know how hard it is for us as a as a as a whole to get out of this shit show in the last 20 years how many people came out of the city not that many probably could count them on your hand yeah, man. i'm talking about how many niggas yeah, came out the city and was real successful not that many. Right, <laughs> two? Not that many at all. In the last 20 years? Is that how many niggas came out of Atlanta in the last two years? They got somebody every year. <laughs> every every six <laughs> months is somebody new. Like well, I'm trying I'm trying to make a, a change like that. You feel me? I'm trying We to need it as a city. We need a, a, a some type of chain effect, something to go on yeah. where somebody get on and start pulling niggas up. Cause like. that's all that's all it takes, bro. And and I, b I believe in my mind, like I believe in my mind. This just, I might be tripping, I might just be, you know what I mean? That if that was the case, more motherfucking Philly as a whole would be safer. Hell yeah. It'd be it, it'd be safer. Let me tell you something, when the state property was era, era was out, bro, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't that bad because you gotta think. Beans was feeding eight niggas. How many niggas you people you think them eight niggas was feeding? Right. How many people was Chris and E feeding? Right. How many niggas was Oskino feeding? So niggas ain't gotta go out here, Rob. Still jump off the roof, jump, fit, pat, pat, pat. Yep, you understand what I'm saying? Right. Like it'll be, it'll be way. If niggas wanna wanna stop the violence in in, in the city, bro. You gotta bring some money here. Home. We gotta, gotta bring, bring some, some money, money in here, this bro. joint. Niggas going chill. I'm telling you. Money make niggas happy. No, I, I don't know about. I know fact. it makes me happy. I don't know about the rest of y'all. I mean, it, it, money make me happy. No, it is because you, you gotta figure like you see the. We never was on no car jack and shit like nah, that. This shit, wow. Like bro, this on like, some other bro, shit. Bro, they ain't like. even been three hundred days. They had like three hundred car jack. They doing this shit three times a day. They doing it to ladies. They doing it to kids. Yeah, this shit. And they goofy. doing it for nut shit like to get a get a Cadillac converter off of it and make a little deuce or a little bean. They doing it for nut shit. Actually, you understand what I'm saying? Right. Like, so if they did have that income coming in, wouldn't be none of that. I mean, goofy shit going on. Know, that shit is, I I believe I believe for a fact it won't. Two niggas would be taken care of. Like I mean, like the successful niggas that do come out of the city, you don't really hear nothing that happens about they peoples. Right. Like I'm just being honest, bro. I'm just being honest. You don't never really hear nothing about it happening to they people because they. They alright. They, they out the way. <laughs> they, you know what I mean? They put the fuck up somewhere. So you understand what I'm saying, y'all? Right. No. Like effect. niggas gotta come. You know what I mean? Like I know for a fact when O had his deal, and he wasn't even like the top. Yep. He wasn't like like he. You know, he wasn't a Beanie Seagull. Right. But I know how many niggas he was feeding. I'm, I'm telling you, I know. You know what I mean? I, I I know how many niggas he kept off niggas' asses and shit, bro. Trust me, I know. Like I was. You know what I mean? So just think if you had. Eight niggas like that, especially covering different parts of the city. You know what I mean? Like, and then doing the shit he was doing for us, grabbing the young boys, showing them, showing them love. Real to, shit. I mean, if you had a bunch of old heads doing that right now, shit would be a lot different. It'd be way different, bro. It'd be you, you, you show them, you gotta show them some shit, cause they they ain't really seeing nothing. They seeing like the, the little views and shit, but they not really seeing nothing, seeing nothing. You you understand what I'm saying? Right. Like they ain't. Half of these rap niggas ain't never been in no label. Half of these rap niggas ain't even been in front of nobody that can even probably get them close enough to get to a label. You understand right. what I'm saying? Like, Fair. so like that's that's like the whole thing. Like, it's, 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 we gotta open these gaps, open these bridges, and start letting niggas in. I don't know what niggas is scared of. I don't know what. You understand what I'm saying? I don't. I don't know what the case is. I don't like, know what they scared of either because they putting some of them Chicago dudes that took off. Yeah, and. They actually coming back, putting niggas dirt, actually putting, giving niggas a shot. Feeding niggas. Mean Mo 600, King Von, and, but look, when he feed King Von, you see what King Von did? Feed the whole hood. 
<laughs> that makes people happy, man. That's all. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean, that makes people happy, and when people happy, they chilling. No, oh, that's real. You know what I mean, like just think you had eight Vaughns that was covering eight hoods uh -huh. in Chicago. Chicago murder rate probably be low as shit. Niggas probably wouldn't even. It would be no reason to slide. It would be no reason to slide. Right, right. We out here in LA and we out here in such and such. We probably don't even see each other for the next six years. Like, you don't really hear about like dirt ever seeing the niggas from the other side. No, you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, cause they still broke there and he's. You know I mean, you don't yeah. never really hear about it. Like, you know what I mean? No, nah, that's real. All right, all right. Fast forward. We're in 2022. Like I started it up saying you was back active. You got the new video with K Gibbs. And Ralph, you on some shit. I done seen you in the studio with Leaf Ward. What's up with the, some new H, man? I'm about What's to you? drop my first album, like an actual album. A, a self-titled joint, it's called N H. I just want to give them, like, all me on this joint. Like, I want to give them, like, all me. A lot of shit that I don't be touching on and shit like that, like, or a lot of shit that I didn't touch on in a while and shit like that. I want to touch up on all of that. I want to let motherfuckers get to know me because like i said sure i don't do interviews and shit like that like anybody that really know me like you really know me right, right, you understand right. what i'm saying so anybody that really know me they really know me i don't i, I probably got two interviews and i did them with you you right. know what i mean through my whole career of of, of rapping you know what i mean so it's like i don't really do interviews like that so this this album right here i want to give niggas me and i want to i want to get the young niggas involved and and the older niggas you feel me like i'm trying to do shit like have a RJ Payne and the Leaf Ward on the same track with me. You feel me? Mm. The, like the, and shit like that. You, you know what I mean? Because I'm trying to I'm trying to be the one that do that. Cause